Hello and welcome to Tell Me Football. Today we'll be exploring how football players manage to fast during the holy month of Ramadan. For Muslim footballers, Ramadan is a time for reflection, spirituality, and self-discipline. But it's also a time when they have to balance their religious obligations with the physical demands of playing football. So how do they do it? To begin with, most Muslim football players follow a similar routine during Ramadan. They wake up before dawn to have their pre-dawn meal or sahur. This meal is important as it provides them with the energy they need to play throughout the day. They then fast from sunrise to sunset, abstaining from food and drink. During the day, Muslim players also make time for prayer and reflection. This is an important part of the Ramadan experience, and it helps them to stay focused and disciplined on and off the pitch. But what about when they're playing matches? How do they manage to fast and play at the same time? Well, it's not easy. Muslim football players have to be very careful with their diet and hydration during Ramadan. They need to make sure that they're getting enough nutrients and fluids during their limited eating hours to keep them going throughout the day. Some players also choose to break their fast during matches. This is usually done by drinking water and consuming energy gels or other high energy snacks. However, not all football associations allow players to break their fast during matches. For example, the French Football Federation or the FFF recently decided not to allow Muslim players to break their fast during matches. This decision was met with criticism from some players and fans who argued that it was unfair to Muslim players. However, other associations such as the Premier League have implemented a fast break for Muslim players to ensure that they can continue to play during Ramadan. Despite the challenges, many Muslim football players choose to observe their fast during matches. This requires a lot of mental and physical strength, as they have to play at the highest level without consuming any food or drink. To cope with this, Muslim players often have to adjust their training and match schedules. They might train early in the morning or late at night when they're allowed to eat and drink, and they might have to skip certain training sessions or matches altogether to avoid overexerting themselves. Some Muslim players have also spoken about how fasting during Ramadan has helped them to become better football players. They said that it helps them to focus, stay disciplined, and remain calm under pressure. In fact, some Muslim players have even credited their success on the pitch to their religious observances during Ramadan. Ultimately, fasting during Ramadan is a personal choice for Muslim football players, and it requires a great deal of discipline and sacrifice. But for many, it's a way to connect with their faith and become better athletes both on and off the pitch. That's all for today's episode of Tell Me Football. We hope you enjoyed learning about how football players fast during Ramadan. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.